Now new at six, the COVID-driven decline in Florida tourism has impacted the state tax revenues. As CBS 4's Hank Tester reports, the 2021 legislature will be facing massive budget issues, but one taxpayer watchdog group has some ideas on how to increase revenue in the midst of the worst pandemic since 1918. It is ugly out there, once gainfully employed, lining up for food giveaways. On regular travel days, airports short on passengers. According to Visit Florida, the state's tourism agency, in 2019, over 131 million people visited Florida. This year, the state on pace for 88.5 million visitors. That's almost a 50% drop off in tourism. Tax revenues hammered. Florida tax is just surprised that the numbers have not even been more severe. The state legislature meets in January. The question, where to cut budgets? The tax base reeling, the governor has ordered state agencies to trim budgets by 8.5%. Florida Tax Watch, of course, proposes the legislature trim budgets, but they also have proposals to seeking additional revenue streams to offset the COVID impact, like collecting taxes on internet purchases. Well, Amazon, uh, is uh, finally based, uh, has a physical presence in Florida, but a lot of its resellers within the Amazon system do not. If we were to collect that, uh, an estimate before COVID showed it would be about 700 to 800 million. We believe it's going to be over a billion dollars the very first year. Florida State researchers say 69 of the top internet retailers failed to collect Florida taxes, a potential tax windfall. When you add to that, Hank, um, a renegotiated seminal compact uh, for gaming, we could be looking at another 800 million to a billion dollars there as well. Negotiating with the Seminoles, always tough, not an easy sell. And then there's the ongoing issue with movie making. Florida used to subsidize movie makers who shot their productions in South Florida. We believe we can also bring a lot of economic growth, a lot of jobs and very good paying jobs, Hank. Quite frankly, if we uh, encourage a, a thoughtful and responsible uh, film industry incentive program. The Florida motion picture and television industry responsible for more than 150,000 jobs and $2 billion in wages. But that subsidy was allowed to sunset and Florida movie making dried up. Florida Tax Watch says bring it back. But remember, at the end of the day, increased taxes or new taxes who winds up really paying for them? You do, the consumer. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News.